we don't say all this stuff because like we're trying to be like dramatic and drama queens and stuff exactly. like this is for your benefit in the Prince, end yeah you will get like you give me the princess treatment like trust me yeah you are come around you yeah more than prince like yeah you, king like, like jesus yeah. like w- not jesus <laughs> Well, I'm just excited. I'm going through this uh, truly quarter life. It's actually not a quarter life crisis or anything. Okay. But remember how I was. I mean, this is life. This is life. This is life. This uh-huh. is life. Uh-huh. A, a coworker of mine had asked me, you continue. You think you know yourself, but you can only really like surprise yourself when you continue to put yourself in new situations. Ooh, I love that. Right. So like, I'm in a breakup right a tough time at the workplace mm-hmm. or even like the tough time might arise because you wanted to do more and it like backfired you know what i mean right right um, right, right like it, putting yourself in an uncomfortable yeah situation yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i like that a why lot did, why are we talking about this but anyways i just came to the realization how or, you know earlier this year we were recording mm-hmm. and then during our little break i felt like i was at the peak of my introvertedness oh yep okay but i actually think i'm coming out of that now wait julie i think (laughs) you're coming out of that i really think i'm coming out of it so everything i said the first like what three (laughs) four episodes let's just let's just get rid of it yeah (laughs) have you taken a dimensional recently i didn't okay because i feel dude retake it should i retake it i retook it you it two days ago i retook it two days ago mind you i have been an enfp Uh for like the last maybe six years yes it changed my freaking myers-briggs changed okay enfp two esfp just one letter one letter but so i used to be the campaigner Mm -hmm. and now i'm the star (laughs) shut (laughs) <laughs> and so i'm like what's going on I'm like Wait, truly, literally the it's, it's called the it star the star you are the star i am the star right, read us a little blurb of the star passionate and high energy social butterflies enjoy being the center of attention empaths who care deeply for those around them Mm, yeah that sounds like you yeah and I, I was looking at this right and then i've been like telling people slowly as i see them and so diane she was reading this and she was like i don't think you enjoy being the center of attention and you know what i realized uh-huh i think i suppress it i think you do like being the center of attention yeah <laughs> <laughs> in a very subtle way like, uh-huh. you know, very, like, uh-huh. it's, it's not, like honestly i think i could be like i'm here everyone yeah, yeah you know yeah, like yeah, i'm yeah. kind of more in your face about it right you're more like you're more subtle about it <laughs> if that makes sense no but yeah. i think you like it yeah no yeah. i think i like it too and i've known that oh interesting because i didn't realize this about myself really yeah i didn't <laughs> i just want to be you know britney spears grow to be <laughs> famous i don't know what i want to be famous in, but i'm gonna be famous really yeah i didn't i didn't i it didn't like click with me i i realized that like Uh okay i'm a smart person but sometimes i just like don't put things (laughs) together and okay you know like Mm -hmm. i don't like draw a lot of conclusions i guess Mm. and so it's because you don't think like my my spider web yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this yeah i think Mm -hmm. i'm like a little bit more like in it rather than like big picture like let's put things together draw conclusions okay okay so it's something i've been like trying to like you a little bit more well okay yeah it's been a minute since i've seen you my yeah i was in colorado for how many uh, like like too a, long like a week a lot really long it time. was literally a full week and i was sick the entire time but you're, you're, are you okay because you know i'm not trying to get sick anymore for the rest of my life so <laughs> i'm fine <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, I have a, like a little bit of a lingering cough. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I haven't been Fleming like I was. Yeah, you look great. Yeah. Look okay. Great. Thank you. Yeah. I like went to the gym like yesterday and today. Okay. So I feel like much better getting back into my routine. But I was gone in Colorado because my cousin Hedgen and her husband's son got married. Woo! Yeah. And yeah, it was just nice. I like caught up with all my cousins. Like it's, oh God, two, four. I, 10 they're home aloneing it up in there 11 <laughs> shut up and then me 12 i think that's all the 12 cousins. cousins yeah i'm probably forgetting more but that's crazy we had a family dinner every night of the week <laughs> we did all of asia the first night was <laughs> vietnam the second night was china uh-huh. third night was korea <laughs> oh what was korea 
Oh, it was like carby oh, and like yes, kimchi yeah. and mm-hmm. everyone was so gassy afterwards. <laughs> like everyone was like, are you, is, is anyone else feeling this? We're like, you know what? It's like the MSG. <laughs> oh uh, had, had homemade she, homemade shike. Who made it? My uh, Hedgen's mom. Mm, yeah. Her, her Love food that. is the best. Yeah, it was uh-huh. great. And then we came back to America for the last night. <laughs> had prime rib. Oh, okay. But I actually skipped out on that because I was feeling too sick. Yeah. And so I was like, guys, I need to sleep. So I slept like 13 hours. So did hours. you have like Korean again and have chook? No, I literally was at my okay. uncle's house and like they didn't really have that much food. So what did I eat for dinner? I had some pistachios and some luncheon meat. Oh, I love... Oh. <laughs> just like ham. Oh, I thought you just, were Just like gonna... sliced ham. Okay. I, th- I, I totally just visualize lunchables oh, oh but just meat yeah okay because like i just that, like wasn't fine. i wasn't like feeling well um and so yeah it's just the question of the entire week was uh-huh who's next hannah who's next who's getting married next hannah and i was like oh kiwan <laughs> i was like kiwan's gonna catch the bouquet did she catch the bouquet no 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 oh. someone else did but i was like it's not me and it's funny because like so me and kiwan we're like same grade she's a year older than me and then uh we both have younger sisters both of our younger sisters are dating like in like long-term relationships mm-hmm. and me and me and kiwan are always like <laughs> why is it so hard to meet somebody <laughs> i mean so, you never know yeah you never know and you never know what I, I don't know i don't know you never know today you might be like what am i doing with my life when am i gonna meet the one and then who knows who knows maybe you'll go to the gym tomorrow and then somebody's like hey, hey. hot thing <laughs> or maybe they'll do another one of those <laughs> hey hot thing yeah. would you would you respond to hey hot thing you <laughs> know absolutely i wouldn't even respond to a hey shoddy i would there's no fucking way i'd yeah, be like what the not. fuck did you say to me yeah absolutely not um i don't know why i said that but um <laughs> like what's a what, okay wait question for you what's yes. an acceptable conversation starter at the gym mm. imagine you're like kind of in the zone you have your you're like airpods in so you're not like super focused on anyone around you like i think it's hard to like go and kind of interrupt somebody's session is it weird if the guy pretended like he didn't know how to use the machine that you were on and wanted you to show him how to use it oh my god is that weird oh i don't know i don't gym i don't gym so i'm just trying to picture though like if you have your airpods in like that kind of changes the playing field right like you don't really want to interrupt right I think complimenting a girl on it could come off creepy. And, you know, I don't know how this might sound, but, you know, like women were naturally nurturing. So if a guy came up and was like, dude, your form like but but shifted it to your form's like really good like when you a row i don't know that, whatever I don't yeah know. it's a row it's yeah, a row this can you show me how to do it because rather than the guy like kind of hovering over the girl's body to show them how to use like well for one you shouldn't be like a hey i think you're doing that wrong let me show you how to do it like i don't right. that's I, like eh. yeah yeah that's so maybe have not. her almost like katie heron when she knew how to answer the math question oh yeah and then yeah he and was she, like yeah he was like oh this is how you do it and in her mind she was like oh that's so that's wrong. wrong but then he came to the answer right right you know? right oh. and so then he like does it and then she's like oh yeah you know how to do it and then you know yeah okay okay ideas yeah i think if somebody complimented my form i would be like oh my gosh okay <laughs> you know i think it could go both ways well okay if a hot guy complimented your form i think you'd be like oh, thank you but if a not so cute guy complimented your form You'd be like, how would you feel? Thanks. <laughs> okay. How going on? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So awesome. And how have you been? What's been up? Have you been box union eating up? Yes. Well, officially this month, month uh-huh. of October, uh-huh. is box union's most exciting month. They do this better together challenge, and I can't remember why they do it. <laughs> But they do it. Okay. And so this will be my third time. And I don't remember if I shared last year, but it's basically a competition and they're like grand prizes. But basically they changed up the rules a bit because last year this person, I really don't think it's healthy. He okay. it was probably wasting his time. Okay. Um, did 90 classes in a month. What the? Yeah, 90 classes. And so they changed up the rules a bit. Um, Wait, 90 in a month? Yeah. So, I so think he was like doing some, three classes a day? And some days he would do five. But anyways, they're changing it up. And so I'm excited because now it's like more like 
like even playing field right oh, okay i talked to the manager there actually and i was like you know i don't think this is really incentivizing like new people to come because if you don't have the unlimited then you know like what what's the point right right then why would anyone want to participate in this competition right there are going to be people freaking doing 90 classes a month yeah no that is insane yeah. and then i think i don't know the second place was pretty close too i think i did i definitely didn't do 30 I think Wait, I did twenty something. Even even a class a day, that is so yeah. much, dude. Yeah. So I think that's like where they're capping it at. And so actually the reason I talked to the manager was because they had this ten for ninety nine deal, which I was like, Oh my god, I get I gotta get my roommates to do it. Ten for ninety nine. Right. Because normally a package is four for ninety nine. Oh shit. Right? And then they go up and ask about it and they're like, Oh, it's for members only. And so that's when I called them and I was like, That makes absolutely no sense because why would someone so you have to be a member. So the smallest package is four right. for 99. Right. Why would someone buy four for 99 then pay 99 for 10 when that comes out to about 200 and they could just get the unlimited? Right. So instead of 14 classes, you have the potential to go 30, 31 times. Right. That's stupid marketing. Yeah. So I told him and so he's going to bring it up to the regional person and then he's going to let me know tomorrow. You're so. so funny. Oh my gosh. You're really like Miss Manager, Miss Haircut. <laughs> like I, I low-key think... He hates me. The manager there hates me. Yeah, because because I feel like you're taking his job, <laughs> or I'm I'm helping him. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming from fa- a pure place. Yeah, that's facts. Really. Yeah, but, that's facts. Um, boxing has just been itself. Actually, other than boxing, another uh, sport has really captured my heart and has captured the flag. Actually. <laughs> Dude, why did no one tell me football was so much fun? Julie, I literally knew (laughs) that you would love it. When you kept joking, I'm third string, I'm third string. In my head, I was going, there's no freaking way that she's not going to want to play. You are a competitive person. I know that you're athletic. I think that you doubt your athletic abilities sometimes for Uh some reason. But like, I knew you were going to like this. (laughs) I'm just so shook at like maybe it's because i'm starting a sport again mm. it's like making me competitive in other aspects like my work like work yeah, yeah. At work i'm like ext- i'm like very competitive at work like i gotta get this clothes like i gotta schedule another thing yeah, that's great it's weird the entire what 10 days what 12 days you were in colorado yeah maybe about a solid seven eight nights i was up just watching football what i was just up wa- like wait, wait wait where's my phone my YouTube search. Oh my God. What does a cornerback do? What is a football blitz? What does a safety do in football? Aaron Donald highlights, Chandler Jones highlights, good linebacker plays, Aiden Hutchinson highlights, Trayvon Walker, Bobby Wagner highlights, best defensive ends in the NFL 2021. Oh my God. I wake up and I put on my makeup to football highlights. <laughs> okay, wait, I didn't know you were this deep. And I will say the most entertaining thing I've maybe watched the the latter half of this year okay. has been watching football players mic'd up. Why oh, are they so they're funny? They're so funny. Why are dude, they they're so, so funny? funny? Yeah, 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 yeah. Recently, basketball too has been. It's kind of like boring. Like they literally go like this, and it's like whistle, like foul. Yeah, it's it's become too sensitive. Yeah, like like bring back bullying. Yeah. I think it builds, builds character. Yeah, right? yeah we yeah, talked yeah, about this. Yeah, a little bit of bullying brings brings character. Yeah, football as as girly as I can be at times. I mean, I think you know. Yeah, like I can be pretty aggressive. Oh yeah, it's just such a manly sport. Like they're just all, all up in their space, and the point is to tackle. Mm-hmm. I think during our you know football tournament, I'm gonna forget that it's flag, and I'm gonna accidentally tackle a girl, <laughs> and so I need to remind myself. Okay, the goal is to not cry because i also cry easily and to not make another girl cry okay that's my goal okay and then to win okay also like let's give some background so basically (laughs) a bunch of like like uh, julie just didn't go and join like a men's (laughs) football tackle league um (laughs) like so basically there's this like huge tournament Mm -hmm. within the korean christian community of southern california (laughs) <laughs> called it's usually turkey bowl but like yes. this year it's winter bowl because it's in december yes and 
there's a girls tournament and there's a mm-hmm. guys tournament all flag football but all the church all the big churches kind of compete and like a lot of the people if you don't if your church isn't competing mm-hmm. or doesn't have a team they'll like you know kind of like move to other churches because mm-hmm. they want to play like it's kind of a big deal yeah. also like literally i know people who will get into relationships after winter bowl because guys will be like oh i saw her play and like you know you know it's like mushy saw it's like oh she's good and so like, I've already fully embraced that I'm not trying to look cute. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just got to play cute. You know, you got to play well. I can't play cute. No, you got to play well and they'll be like, oh, she's cute. You know? I've like, gotten my work. I've spread the rumor. Mm-hmm. And now everyone at work throws me the football too. I already have a victory. I mean, it's going away. <gasps> oh, it's going you have away. a little scar. I do. Isn't it kind of I'm like. I'm proud of it. Wait, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, when I got my first like bruise in jujitsu, I was like, guys, look at my first bruise. Yeah. I'm kind of proud of it. It hurt a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. I'm so okay. Yes. So I just. She's a football like, girl. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, the men are. The men are very entertaining to watch. Mm-hmm. Remember when you guys would make fun of me that I was a chubby chaser? What? Do you, remember? you don't remember? Wait, sorry, what? I feel like all throughout middle school and high school, I always liked chubby boys. Wait, I didn't know this. Yeah, I yeah, I would get made fun of that I was a chubby chaser. And I just think football guys are my chubby men. <laughs> do you want to do you want to be a wag, Aaron? No, I'm not. I I can't be a wag. Okay. I just feel like these players though, like they ain't loyal. You know. Okay. And, you know, loyalty is like right. You like wait, core, but core. oh yeah, you're right. But if you find like someone, I feel like a lot of athletes like really love God and Jesus <laughs> and the church, That's good. and therefore That's good. you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, because I, I feel guess. like I feel like you know, like uh-huh. if you meet someone and you know, like they go to church yeah. and they're Christian and stuff, you know that yeah, they like kind of like Steph Curry and Aisha, yeah, how they like yeah. met at the church. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, exactly. <sighs> okay, let's start manifesting. Okay, Julie's yeah. gonna be a wag. Yeah, <laughs> wife and girlfriend yeah. of sports stars. <gasps> I love this so, for you. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Which also then brings me to talking about ice cream. If you are in the Culver City area, I highly recommend you check out Blue Nova. How do you spell that for us? B L U E N O V A. Okay. It's rolled ice cream, super tasty, four ingredients, so pure, literally top notch ice cream. Okay, because I saw your story and yeah. I was so sad about it. Well, I wanted to like crop out the ice cream and put it in the photo as well. Right. But I haven't updated my phone yet. Oh. And I put in so much effort into spelling out the Blue Nova with different shades of blue. Yeah, you couldn't get rid of I, it. Yeah, I didn't want to yeah. forego that. So. Okay, yeah, absolutely. But check it out. Two sisters. They actually come out to our church. So I'm so excited for you to meet them. But yeah, yeah I'm excited to meet them. They're so awesome. Um, but so- I... I actually forgot an update. What? Speaking of the re, because the reason I couldn't go to Blue Nova with you was yeah. because I went to Fred again. I saw Fred again. Who at, is Fred again? At the Hollywood the- Forever Cemetery. Okay, so. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, Fred again. Fred again. Fred I don't again. know Fred again, but another coworker was gonna go to Fred again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I went to Fred yeah. again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I have a friend who's going again to Fred again. To Fred again. Again. Fred. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um dude he was so good okay so i'm not that into house music okay and he's house are you you sure okay well it's slowly slowly it's happening and dude he's so good live he has so much energy and like you know like Mm. a lot of djs like they're kind of lazy with it like they just like you could tell they don't care anymore yeah but he literally was like guys i've never had to do this and he was just like breathing because he's like he's like no 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 just breathing because he's going so hard like putting his entire body into his that. set it was great also hollywood forever great venue it's weird because like when you go on hollywood forever is like a little website it's like mm-hmm. on the left hand side it's like burials and mm-hmm. it's like a ceremonial things and then on the right side it's like events calendar and i'm like what kind of and like you know you click on it and um yeah, so they have concerts there, and then they also have outdoor movies there. Yes. Which, boy update from a couple weeks ago. Remember how, like, I brought up how this guy, like, bailed on a date? Yes. Okay, well, we're going to get into that story mm, today. I'm right now. Immediately. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> right now. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, so I met this guy off an app. We went on one date. It was great. 
Uh Like, literally one of the best, like, first dates I think I've ever been on. Like, I just, like, felt immediately connected to this person. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I I actually am sure about that. Even though it's easier to remember the, you know, negative, not as fun dates. Right. But I, like, genuinely felt connected to him in a weird way. And so, long story short, we go on a second date. And it was not as good as the first date. But I think that's to be expected when the first date's really good. And then... And then... Mm. On that second date, he was like, what are you doing this weekend? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know. I need to check my calendar. He was like, okay, because Hollywood Forever, like, they have outdoor movies. Uh And then in my head, I'm getting so excited because I'm like, oh, my God, he's so good at planning. Uh Like, literally has been so good about, like, planning and, like, like, just, like, being, like, an overall, like, gentleman, Mm -hmm. you know? Like... And so Saturday comes up. I'm mm-hmm. super excited. Mm-hmm. And mind you, like this entire week, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I, like, right? I feel like I'm usually the one that will come up with like these creative date ideas. But mm-hmm. I was excited for once because I was like, oh, this guy is like taking initiative. Mm-hmm. And so he, I like messaged him in the morning. I was like, oh, wait, do we need to get tickets or anything? And he was like, oh, I got it covered and all of that. Okay. And this is third day. I try not to give out my address like too quickly, but <laughs> right. It's like, it's Hollywood. And so yeah. I'm like, okay, I don't want to like deal with parking and all that. So I was like, should we carpool? He was like, yeah, mm-hmm. I can like pick you up at seven. And I was like, okay, okay sounds good and then like he wasn't being like as responsive Mm -hmm. as he had like between like let's say the first and the second date right Mm -hmm. so I was already kind of like hmm I wonder what's going on and then I think like 3 p.m rolls around and I was like okay wait let me just like check in with him Mm -hmm. and so I I, I texted him like a random question and he like wasn't responding right Mm -hmm. and then like so around six I just woke up from a nap because I'm like mentally preparing, right? I'm going to have a long night because I don't know how long this movie is. It's uh-huh. probably at least two Do hours. You know Goodfellas? This sounds like a popular movie. Yeah, I think it's like a classic, yeah. you know? And so it was at least, I was going to guess like at least two hours. I was like, dang, mm-hmm. I need to stay up late. And so I took a nap. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, Damn. let me hop in the shower and yes. wash my hair. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you guys know that I don't wash my hair for everyone right now. <laughs> you know why my hair is up? It is not washed. Yeah. I think mine too. Yeah. You know, you got to like, go at least three, four days. I think this is the second day, but I, I really haven't trained it well because this is the most virgin, bl- like black brown hair I've had in a really, really long time. Right, 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 right. And so how do you, I don't know how you maintain it because you can't freaking scratch your head without yeah you can't you know you, you, you can you just poke your scalp a little bit <laughs> i know, <laughs> I know. I'm, really I'm like oh it's like so itchy but like you gotta just yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay so, so it's like six o'clock uh-huh. one hour before he's supposed yes. to swing Picking by pick seven. me up uh-huh. and so i hop in the shower i wash my fucking hair yeah. so thoroughly i did i did two washes mm. like I've, I've been double shampooing double conditionering mm-hmm. right because i was excited Con- for the state uh-huh. i was like okay like yeah we got it I start getting ready and then it's like maybe like 6 15 still no response right Mm -hmm. so I like asked him like oh like another question like oh are you gonna bring blankets like should I like I have a pink picnic blanket whatever and I'm still not getting a response and I was like fuck because if if someone doesn't confirm with me an hour before I don't get ready, right? Mm -hmm. I've had, like, guys, like, bail on dates and whatever. Like, I just, like, don't get ready. Like, why would I, like, waste my time, waste my makeup, my expensive makeup? (laughs) Why would I wash my hair? Why would I wash my hair if you don't confirm with me at least an hour before, right? Yeah. I'm not going to pick out an outfit. (laughs) So I was like, okay. Because outfits, too, are, like, you you know what I mean? You can't, or usually you don't wear them, like, back to back. But you can wear them again, but then you wear them, like with Maybe different people exactly different occasions. yeah exactly. exactly and so i'm like having to plan all this out right mm-hmm. and so like it's 6 15 i'm like literally standing in front of my mirror right there and i'm looking at myself and i'm going do i get ready right now he mm-hmm. hasn't confirmed with me but i'm thinking in my head okay we went out on two dates Mm -hmm. he's been very proactive in wanting to see me planning dates Mm -hmm. and so i'm gonna have faith in this guy that he's just like maybe maybe he's also getting ready i don't know (laughs) i don't know like put some gel in your hair i don't know maybe he needs to like shave his beard a little bit Uh yeah so i'm Uh giving him benefit of the doubt i'm like let me get ready Uh 
So I start getting ready. I do the a full routine uh-huh. okay like literally baked my face <laughs> okay that's how you know that's how you know do that you like not bake i normally like don't bake okay. like right now <laughs> i don't have any powder on because i just didn't that's have time crazy. to yeah that's crazy because now baking is a critical part of my makeup process because remember when i went up on stage at church and you were really <laughs> And you were really shiny. I was shiny. like a puddle. Yeah. And my face is a puddle. Wait, I want my face to be a puddle. <laughs> oh, I do not want to be a puddle ever again. So no, I want to be a puddle. I love baking. <laughs> I love baking. But we're actually coming to like a close of the baking season, if that makes sense, because we're headed to like fall, fall winter. Fall winter. So you like, gotta use it like sparingly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I feel that. But anyways, so you baked. So I baked. So you, you baked. know it's real. Well, why did you bake? Because like you thought there was going to be <laughs> some, you know. Some what? Some what? <laughs> I wanted to prevent creasing yes. under my eyes. Yes. What crease? What crease? Uh, Julie. What crease? Julie, there's been creasing going on underneath my eyes. This I mean, is we 25. Are 25. Yeah. yeah. Actually, another cool you told me that we need to stop saying that 25 was old because it made her feel really old. So we need to stop. I take that back. Take okay. it back. Take yeah. it back right now. Okay. Take I it back. back. I take okay. it back. Great. Um, and so I bake and then I text you and I text Gloria. Yes, you do. And I go, okay, what's the cutoff time before in my head mentally I'm going, this date is not happening. Mm-hmm. And you guys said 645. That's 15 minutes. Did I say 645? Yeah, you said 645. Sure? Yeah, I'm, Not 647? No, I'm positive it's 645. 645. Okay. And so that's 15 minutes uh-huh. before he's supposed to pick me up. Mind yeah. you, it takes him at least 30 minutes to get to me, right? Because in my, in my head, I'm doing the math. And so at 630, still no message. 635, I literally every text my mom is texting me during this every single one of her texts i was like oh my god is it him oh my god is it him oh my god is it him right (laughs) and then you guys are also texting me during that time but i'm also trying to get ready just in case like you know all this is going on yeah and then 17 minutes before he's supposed to pick me up and two minutes before the cutoff and two minutes before the cutoff he goes hey i'm so sorry to do this that's the preview that i saw right (sighs) and i was like are you fucking kidding me dude i have I've genuinely never been that upset about somebody canceling a date. And mm. so I go outside. Allie's boyfriend is here. <laughs> Allie's boyfriend is here. And he just like looks at me. He's like, what's up? And then I was like, this guy just canceled. And he, he's, he's so awkward. He's so awkward. He goes, oh, oh, no. <laughs> I'm fuming. Literally, I started sweating. Like, I felt myself getting red from underneath all uh, my makeup and the baking. And I'm, like, rage texting on my uh, laptop at this yeah. point, right? And I'm uh-huh. like, oh, my God. He just texted. Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Right? And so I'm out there with her boyfriend for, like, five minutes. And mm-hmm. then and then Allie comes out. And she goes, hey. <laughs> right? And, and then I'm like, hi. And she's like, what's wrong? The energy is a little weird in here. <laughs> And I was like, he just canceled. Uh-huh. And she was like, oh no, yeah. like no way. And I felt like I was going to cry uh-huh. essentially. And so I was like, I need to go in my car and scream. So I went in my car and I started screaming. Mm. And then like, I was just like uh, stopping myself from like, from tears falling and all of that. Because and the makeup was too good. The makeup was way too good. Yeah. I was like, dude, I chose a great outfit. Like yeah. I looked so cute. Like I was really feel like I was like, Mm. I cannot believe he bailed mm. 17 minutes before. That's wild. And so I was I was fuming. I was pissed. He was like, yeah, I'm just like not feeling well, whatever. But like, I think in my head, like at the moment, like my reasoning for being so upset was like, okay, I was looking forward to the date, number one. But also, if you're not feeling well, a lot of times that comes up before. Yeah. Unless it's like an emergency. I think it's one of those things. I mean, he definitely fucked up because even when like doing a breakup Mm -hmm. right or even when submitting for pto you're always like okay let me do that like and then you push it push it push it and then it's like the week of or like you know a couple days before right so he probably he just really fucked up yeah no i I was completely fucking pissed and so long story short i cut it off 
good. I I went out that night. You no, know, and he was like, wait, wait, like seriously, like no reschedule. And I was like, let me think about it. And then I thought about it more, and I just got more pissed. I was like, what the fuck That's do you so mean ridiculous. no reschedule? He didn't even bring up rescheduling. He was like, oh, do you want me to give you the tickets so that you can go with another friend? And in my head, I'm going. I don't fucking care about the movie. Like, yeah. I wanted to spend time with you. It wasn't about the movie and the setting <sighs> and all that. Like, that was all added bonus. Yeah. So I was really fucking upset. And then I was, like, talking to my parents about it. And they yeah. were like, Hannah, you know things come up. Like, I think you're being unreasonable. No. Th- no. Well, I, I, I am going to compliment myself. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm really good at placing myself in somebody else's shoe. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And as somebody who is a veteran sick person, uh-huh. like you don't just, you don't like just get sick, like in 17 minutes before the seven o'clock. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if I'm not confident that I could be present for a date, yeah, like I'm just like, hey, like just a heads up. No, exactly. Right? You heads up. Exactly. And then you would have, I'm sure you would have, you would have responded like, hey, like how are you feeling right now? Right. right. If he had said I didn't feel good in the morning, in the a.m. Right. Or even a couple hours before. 17 minutes before. That's like kind of fucking... Okay, wait. Okay, thank you. I feel validated because yeah. a lot of times I assume that other people will like act the way that I would, mm-hmm. right? Because me too. If I wasn't feeling well in the morning, I would have given him a heads up. I would have been yeah. like, hey, heads up. Like, I'm not feeling well, but I really want to make this date. Yeah. And so like, can I let you know like a couple hours before yeah. if I'm down or not? Like, at least give me that. But there was no communication. It was literally yeah. just like... I felt dumb. I was like, why am I double texting you? Yeah. And so that's what happened. He still views my stories. We'll see if he listens to this episode. If you're listening to this episode, I still feel like kind of justified about Uh how I felt in the moment. Of course. Yeah, of course. I think the dilemma, though, is or I guess you can also ask yourself, like, why were you so excited? Number one. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I think we've mentioned this before, how when you're on the dating apps, though, like you're not official, like you don't have a title. Right. And so I think out of respect, right, just out of straight up respect, you should have like he should have let you know before. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier. Yeah. Earlier than 17 minutes. Yeah. Also, I have been told and we've expressed, but like, why does like, why does he owe you that? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that's the tricky part. And that's we bring it back to expectations. Mm. You are disappointed because the reality did not meet the expectation. Right. And so, you know, that's the thing is like a lot of times I don't get my hopes up. Yeah. Because I don't want to be disappointed. Yeah. And so I guess I was just like, ex- I, I was definitely extra upset. Yeah. Because this is kind of like the first time I like, kind of like let my hopes get that high. Mm yeah and then not to mention like lauren was like also hannah like take into consideration that like maybe like this is all like built up like anger and energy because you have been going on kind of like a string of bad dates yeah and so i was like you know what you're right yeah he just happened to get the brunt of it (laughs) Like literally, I said, "Dude, Sorry. my you should see my text messages to him. They are phenomenal. Like literally, it's just the perfect amount of like me being calm yet stern and just speaking facts, not like mm-hmm. adding to the situation. That is important. Yeah, that is important. Yeah, no, Keep it, it was factual because it was beautiful. I mean, I definitely fall in the, under this category of always making it emotional too right i mean our subconscious is is it really crazy mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. really crazy yeah no and actually i'll go ahead and read it yeah. for you um <laughs> also you know what's really sad what is like whenever i go to like send photos to people his name still pops up mm. you know as one of the as the top suggestion i'm like it's been like at least two weeks what's going on you send him that many photos huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah Dude, the way I have infected your you brain. You really have. <laughs> you really have. And, dude, I don't know what it is. So <laughs> I went, I'm not upset because you're sick and had to cancel. I get that things come up and truly hope you're doing all right. But it's more so for the lack of communication. For you to cancel 20 minutes before we were supposed to meet feels disrespectful of my time. And honestly, I was looking forward to spending time with you. 
I feel like in general, you've been pretty MIA and there's been no communication about that either. So I guess I'm just confused as to where your head's at. I'm still not sure if I want to reschedule, but wanted to share what I'm feeling on my side. That's the text. I love it. That's the text. Keep it factual. Keep it straight. Yeah, it was great. Um, Yeah. Yeah, so we're moving on. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to not let my parents make me feel bad about it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Also, the... This is also... Everything just... Life is gray. Life is gray. Because mm-hmm. I was going to say, you know, the men out there today, so different from how the men were when our parents were dating. Oh. Oh. You know what I mean? Literally, yeah. But also, with age comes wisdom, so... I do want to take the things that our parents say to us. What's the opposite of a grain of salt? And like weigh with it a pound heavily. Of, yeah. Yeah. With like a... A pound of sugar? <laughs> with a tube. With a, with a tub of sugar. Okay, with I'm a, a tub I'm of sugar. Take, I'm going to take my parents' wisdom with a tub of sugar. Okay. <laughs> I love that! So now we have on a different track of trains and a tub of sugar. Okay. Take my word with a tub of sugar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know this man's personally. Right. But now that we both are 25, uh-huh. like we're not, like we're not, no, we're still young, young, but we're not like young, young, young. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're not. The way that things have changed. <laughs> I mean, now, we're, we're now, we're, now we're in the same boat. I cannot make fun of you anymore because we are both 25. We're both 25 for the next like four months. Yes. You know? And then we can go back All to right. me being like, hey, you're really old. Yeah. But given that we're 25 now, I think my big question is, how much of these men's behaviors are because they've never experienced it and need to be taught versus no we're old enough you should freaking know by now yeah wait yeah because okay i i also went on another date recently Uh uh-huh and was telling my parents about this one Uh uh-huh i was just like telling them about him and whatever and then i was like Oh, yeah, but the only things were that, like, he asked to split the bill. Mm -hmm. Off the bat, off the bat, my mom is like, I don't like that. Uh Uh-huh. And then I was like, oh, God. And then, right, we had gotten dessert as well Uh afterwards. It was like ice cream, right? And my mom made a joke. She was like, did he ask to split that too? Four (laughs) dollars? And literally, I was like, he he actually made a joke about it and she was like i really oh my she was like hannah what are you doing Uh uh-huh and then like in the front seat my dad is going wait wait a lot of guys don't know like how do they like like if you're if you weren't taught it how are you supposed to know that you're supposed to like like pay for the meal and stuff like that and so i was like okay wait this might come off a little rude i hope not no you could be rude be rude but i well like (laughs) i don't mean to like age our parents right but I feel like it's not a valid reasoning because we have Reddit. We have TikTok. We have Google now. Yeah, you're right. I don't think Google was really, really used when our parents were in their early 20s. LOL. Right? Yeah, yeah, they were still paging each other. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, I, I just like, that's not a valid excuse because if you don't know something, you just Google it. Yeah. You just Google it. Yeah, because at 28 years old, you would fucking think that you know to pay for dates, know to plan dates, know to plan the date near where the girl lives, not meet in the middle. Did you guys meet in the middle? Yeah, we met in the middle. I'm doing, I'm doing extremely too much. You are. You are. And I think most recently I was doing a little too much too. Mm. No, I really haven't been reflecting too much. Just I need some time to not think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do no thoughts. Yeah. But I think you can call this episode an identification of the princess treatment. Okay. Versus being independent versus training men. Okay. We'll call it like training boyfriend because I'm not out here trying to train all the men. Yeah, we're not we're not doing because like, if I am then I need to collect fees. Work. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So this is for profit. Yeah. Specifically <laughs> my profit. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We're, I feel like we're very entrepreneurial minded. You're a business major. Yeah. A very business. Yeah. A business if I'm gonna woman. make some donations, I need yeah. like tax relief off of that. You know. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm gonna be very straight up. So h- how do I? This might sound a little silly because this whole episode is about you know receiving that princess treatment versus yeah like. I guess when I say princess treatment, it's more like your significant other knowing what to do without you having to ask them. Right. Or like nag them about things. Yeah. Yeah. But that also raises a question like, are friends who do receive that princess treatment though, was their training involved? Right. What things need to be trained versus 
what's like like came trained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Came trained came, to the... came with it's a package deal. Exactly. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right, right. The, the man plus the training, like the course needed to be completed. Right, 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 you right. You were buying it ready. Ready yeah. and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a grab and go <laughs> situation. <laughs> exactly. And then the Miss Independent portion, which I'm just gonna be really honest. Um lately I haven't been feeling like a strong independent woman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, same. Like I didn't know how to pull out the trash bag from the trash can. <laughs> okay, that's like a little like, ridiculous. Okay. And if my roommates are listening to this, like, okay, I have two roommates. Honestly, I, I would never want there to be any like roommate B for drama. Right. But I feel like I haven't really been taking out the trash. Because you don't know how to take it out? No, because I don't use the trash can because I don't cook in the kitchen. So the trash fills up with like, because they cook a lot more. Oh. So it fills up because of like right. their egg cartons or their disposable stuff because they're buying groceries. Right. I literally never buy groceries. And if I do, I put it in the fridge and then I forget about it and then I have to throw it away because it gets old. Right. But I was like, okay, like I would hate for them to feel like I'm not pulling my weight and like doing the house chores. So I wanted to take out the trash. Right. I was kind of shook. I was like, whoa, how do you take out the trash? I'm dead. Because I never take out the trash. Yeah. But is that bad? No, because when I have a boyfriend, I'm like, yeah, I hope that I, he never asks me to take out the trash. No, no. More than that, I go, can you take out the trash, please? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do I even want to tell him to take out the trash? No, yeah, he should just do it. Because like my dad, my mom doesn't tell my dad to take out the trash. Yeah, yeah, you're fucking it's right. It's more like, honey, my the trash is full. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I haven't been feeling like a strong, independent woman. Mm -hmm. and so here's here's the dilemma is shoot like if i get to a place where i can like live in a, a studio or one bedroom by myself i'm gonna need to learn how to do these things on my own oh you're right but if in if the long-term goal is to not do these things like do i really need to learn how to do these things <laughs> is the real question mm -hmm. while planning for this episode i've realized that i'm also a bit lazy <laughs> oh yeah no me so too. i don't really want to train the guy Mm. but let's be realistic here a bit so like what like what like what do i need to train them on what is okay to expect when it comes to princess treatment yeah like what like what like what like let's let's draw like some skeleton outlines yeah okay okay right? yeah yeah so what is like princess treatment to you you think okay so i'm thinking like first second third date i think it starts with like okay so like let's say we were meeting at a restaurant or whatever i have expected them to like make a reservation and plan the date i think yeah. it starts there right mm -hmm. because prior to prior to meeting you are a freaking stranger yeah and so i like usually even in friendships one person kind of pulls the weight and being like hey like let's meet here at this time like yeah let me do the due, di due diligence and like plan and choose a restaurant and so i just kind of expect that from the guy and i feel like a lot of guys genuinely don't know how to do this right example number one they choose a restaurant and they don't ask you where you live, like what city you're based in or what area of Los Angeles you're based in. And so like you mm. end up driving to them. I hate that. You know me. I hate driving, period. Yeah. So, okay. So sorry. This is kind of a tangent and I'm like kind of bringing it no, to myself. Do it. But the reason I was laughing at our like just laughing before the episode started right. was because we needed to talk about training our boyfriends or I mean, I don't have a, we don't I, have a boyfriend. We don't have, we don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Well, I was laughing because I was laughing at myself. I was like, hmm, can I talk about really training a boy? If honestly, I feel like I was the one that was trained. You were I was, trained? I, I was the train. <laughs> you were training? I think I was, I was training. I think I was training. In what way? So I think the reason why I'm bringing this up now, though, is because there is a fine line of allowing the guy to like pick out the restaurant and okay. make the decision. Okay. Versus like into the relationship him having that type of control oh, and you losing your voice oh interesting you see don't know. but the okay so the key there is i expect you to ask me what i'm craving okay you need to ask me what i'm craving and so right a lot of guys complain about asking their girlfriends what do you want to eat and her mm -hmm. being like i don't care and then him being like okay like uh let's do mediterranean she's like i don't want to do mediterranean and mm -hmm. he's like 
you literally just said you don't care yeah right and so i will do my part in being like if you ask me a question i will tell you Mm -hmm. three cuisines that i'm craving yeah even if i'm not craving anything i will give you three options yeah because i know that you're gonna say something that i don't like (laughs) exactly you know what i mean yeah in that way Mm -hmm. you're not giving up the control yeah he's handing over the control to you yeah but it's like, but you could do the planning. So yeah. it's it's almost like a manip- like manipulating him a little bit. I mean, it's training. Right. Pavlov's dogs. Pavlov's dogs. Woof, woof. Yeah. And so I think a key point here also mm-hmm. is after he does something that you like, you praise the heck out of him. Be like, oh my gosh, like, thank you so much for planning the date. Like, I really appreciate it. Like, I really appreciate when you, like, go out of your way to, like, ask me, like, what I'm craving. And- I can't do that. I can't do that. Why? I'm just such not a words of affirmation person. But this is a part of the training process. It really is. And that's why I feel like I was the trainee. I became the trainee. Oh, because he was going, oh, thank you. Thank you, Julie, (laughs) for for planning and always catering to what I want to eat. Dead ass. Wow. Wait, dead ass. Oh, that's so crazy. Dead ass. (laughs) I was a freaking trainee. That's crazy. And that's why I was laughing because I'm like, "Mm, can I even talk about this? Because am I qualified to talk about this? Because I was the training well okay but you so maybe we need to talk about how you were trained you know you have a great perspective on it i do yeah i do (laughs) okay okay but like okay roles reverse what are other things i guess that you expect from a guy i mean there's so much right yeah because if i'm trying to be treated like a princess like you're doing all the freaking driving oh oh. you're doing all the freaking driving oh absolutely honestly when i look back at how much i drove Mm. this past year it's kind of like shock. like my parents are like who is she like who why is she like, why is she driving across yeah. town yeah oh every single day no every because, single day because, because back to your I'm, stress aversion because i was trained i was trained oh shit <laughs> oh absolutely trained. not but oh, um God. so we're gonna we're changing that we're changing that okay so yeah, you should be driving i yeah I, and and when you're driving too it's i think being thoughtful it's not just doing the act of service of driving. Right. It's making sure that she or I, that I am comfortable in the car. Because mm-hmm. there are some crazies out there, and especially post-COVID, or like kind of coming out of COVID. Nobody knows how to drive. Some people forgot how to drive. Oh, let's absolutely. Let's be honest, right? Yeah. So like when you're merging, it's like, like there is something called a blind spot. Right. Um, and it's just being thoughtful and like, oh my God, are you okay? Mm, yeah, you absolutely. Know? Asking like, little questions. That is minimum. Like my life is in your hands. No, y- truly yeah. my life is in your hands. Yeah. It's making sure that I feel comfortable, making sure that you're driving at an adequate speed that is not going to get me killed. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean? That's, that's just a bare minimum. Bare minimum don't bare kill minimum. me. <laughs> bare minimum, don't kill me. <laughs> like, know how to drive. If you are going to take me, if you're going to ask me on a date and drive, you better know how to drive. Okay? Yeah. You better know how to drive. Yeah. Like, LA drive. LA drive. LA drive. You know, so, approach aggressive, quickly. Aggressive enough. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Know you're like, oh, this is the opportunity. Boom. You know? <laughs> yeah. You cannot be like waiting there, like, oh, is this person going to let me in? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, right. right. But, like, don't make sure you take your lens moment. Exactly. Make sure I'm not like, woo. <laughs> Make sure I'm wearing my seatbelt. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's pretty romantic. Yeah. Like a little like a reach. Mm, yeah, yeah. Wait, have you ever had that happen to you? Has anybody uh, ever buckled your seatbelt for you? Well, I'm sure one of the one of the exes has, uh-huh. and you can you can use your process of elimination right. to identify which one. Right. <laughs> but I think another one is opening doors. Like oh. that one's just so simple. Okay. That one's yeah. So simple. Yeah. Like that. I don't know how else to put it. Like you better be opening the door. No, yeah, absolutely. Car door, house door. Like you better have, you better doors. be holding my keys. You know, like these days, purses are like created so tiny. Like, you know, like I hope you're holding my keys for me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Restaurant door. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Like, and also in line with that, I think you need to let the woman walk first. Oh yeah, I've had a lot. Oh, yeah. I've had a lot of guys on dates walk first, right behind, like right behind the waitress. Whereas I think about it, and even at the gym, right? I get in the elevator. Let's say there are other guys. 
the random gym guys will let me walk out of the elevator first. They're always like, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. And so to think that I'm going out on dates with guys that don't know how to do that, I'm like, I'm confused. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same concept. Oh, is this also a thing? Like if there is a booth and mm-hmm. a chair seat that mm-hmm. the woman sits on the booth? Yes. That's yeah, that's definitely a thing. It's fucking selfish if a guy takes a booth. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's you know how um, there is the the four horsemen, the predictors of divorce. Yes. One of them should be if the man is sitting in the booth seat (laughs) (laughs) and the woman is sitting on the outside. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely not. I need to be able to people watch. From the booth seat. I was thinking more just like comfort. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> it's just my ADHD. Okay, <laughs> I just okay. like need to be distracted okay. a little bit. Okay, okay. Yeah, mine is just purely out of comfort and like a place for my purse to kind of sit next to me type of thing. Yeah, exactly. Because if you have your purse hanging on the chair on the outside. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's very dangerous. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, but talking about purses, like... And this is like kind of like I think we're kind of mixing like dating stage and like official stage. Right. But once you're official, I hope you are freaking carrying my bag when we're going out. Oh, Which abs- also, I hope we're going out together because yeah, because apparently I'm the the life of the party. <laughs> Are you wait, wait who, what? Pugogi Pugogi podcast posted that I was the life of the party. Oh yes, you are the and life then, of the party. Um, I was the life of the party until eleven twenty p.m. when we went out for my birthday. So I'm the yeah. life of the party. You were really until eleven twenty. Yeah, you were you were the life of the party yeah. up until. 11.20. That's yeah. the earliest I've seen anyone go home. Yeah. it's. I'm, I was pretty concerned the next day. Yeah, me too. I had ramen for the first time in four months. And it was bomb, huh? It was so bomb. Oh my yeah. God, it was so bomb. And then I felt for dinner. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw so that. Bad. I saw oh that. I feel like it was just like breathing was, life yeah, into you. It really was. Oh, yeah, my gosh. yeah, yeah, yeah. But... No, definitely. You should be holding my bags. Yeah. Like, it's an accessory. Like, just work it. Like, like yeah. I, I think more girls will respect you if they see you holding your girl's bag. Yeah, exactly. That, that's just so, so kind. Yeah, because it's uncomfortable to be carrying all of that shit all yeah. the time. And you think, like, okay, like, if you're kind of, like, drunk, kind of tipsy, and a girl is holding, like, a little mini bag, like, I think, I'm just gonna be honest, scenario-wise, a, a, like, a bad person might feel more inclined to kind of snatch it away from or if yeah. they're looking at my boyfriend donald oh. you know what i mean holding my purse right like i dare you you know i, I dare, you. dare you i dare you yeah yeah get through this you know? linebacker so if you really love Cold? he's a, i think he's a lineman oh lineman yeah okay yeah that's different okay but uh if you really love your girl i think you'd also you know care for her possessions and like you know what i mean like make sure she has all her stuff yeah. like yeah. all of that yeah. and then because okay even when we went out for your birthday all the boyfriends are carrying the purses mm-hmm. and it yeah. Even went to the extent of, so Dijon was carrying Michelle's purse, mm-hmm. right? And Michelle's like, Hannah, like, why are you holding your jacket? I was yeah. like, because it's hot. Like, I just like don't know what to do with it. And she uh-huh. was like, give it to Dijon. <laughs> give it to Dijon. <laughs> so like literally on behalf of me. Yeah. <laughs> Dijon is, he ties his, my, my tiny ass jacket around yeah. his waist. Yeah. And it was just like. Oh my god, if my friend's boyfriend is doing this for me, <sighs> shouldn't my boyfriend at least, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's like a bare minimum thing. It is. Yeah. And so, yeah, definitely doors, definitely hold my stuff. Yeah. Definitely do the driving. And I think this all, when I think about like where it roots from, okay, I've also kind of trying to think about why I need to be treated like a princess, which there doesn't really need to be a reason. No, absolutely not. (laughs) But when I think about like, I mean, the way I grew up, right? The things that I was exposed to and the expectations that I have, like why, why are they the way that they are? Right. I think my dad, for the most part, is a very kind person for the most part. Okay. But he's definitely outspoken. Mm -hmm. And when I see, like, I think the reason why I'm attracted to guys who seem a bit more unapproachable, who are a little colder, who tend to be colder than friendly. Okay. Yeah. You don't, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. they're not like you wouldn't go to a party and be like, oh, hi, my name. Like, you kind of right. like, I need to be introduced to the guy, oh, right? right, right, right. Um, it's because I think my dad's a little like that. Oh. But when it comes to his woman's, oh. right? His, oh. his woman, his woman, oh, his right. woman, yeah, her man, like, she she is first above anything else. Mm. Will never fail to let, I don't know about my sister, but let me know that my mom comes before me. Mm. which then i recently saw a tiktok that you know like a key a secret sauce to a healthy like family 
mm-hmm. like dynamic is like the the marriage, the parents' marriage. Mm-hmm. Because when your entire marriage or the family's focal point is the kid, that's when the kid gets too spoiled. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so leading like set by, by example. example. Yeah. Exactly, leading by example. You know, thinking right? about it too, my dad is like very thoughtful, is always mm-hmm. like taking care of like, me, my mom, and my sister, right? Yeah. Like, he's the only male in the household, <laughs> minus Leo, my dog. Um, and so, like, just, like, little, like, dude, on ski trips, yeah. right? We're carrying all of our shit with us. It's really heavy. Yeah. Like, he will carry three skis. And I'm yeah. like, wait, you don't need to do all that. And yeah. the poles, and his backpack, and he's recording things at the same time. Yeah. And then he'll run to the car. He will sprint to the car yeah. to make sure that we don't walk that much. Mm-hmm wait that's a constant him running to the car <laughs> that is a constant like literally even if we're at like redondo beach pier he's like i'll get yeah. the car i'll yeah. pull up to the front so you guys don't need to do the work yeah and so i feel like me too princess treatment yeah it's always been there yeah so yeah it's really our dads that like set really the bar set the, high exactly yeah and you know wait, is that even high you know i don't i don't know but I, okay i i think <sighs> about it too because uh-huh. i think i'm also like demanding i'm in my princess era right now yes. okay i'm in my bimbo what era. princess yeah i'm in what my princess princi- what princess yeah frick bell one two the- three bell it's <laughs> bell it's bell you know who's my, your cinderella you know my, yes it yeah. is cinderella yeah um and okay so my ex uh-huh. he treated me like a fucking princess like literally like i was just like it was great it was great like Mm -hmm. i didn't need to do that much training because his mom did a lot of the fucking training i really like i really appreciated her because like she did so much fucking training that is great to hear yeah so what like in what way in what way to be honest it was just like he would always go out of his way to do things for me like it was just like oh like do you need anything if i was sick he'd be like oh Mm -hmm. like because we were a little bit long distance like he'd be like Mm -hmm. oh make sure you like get sugar free gatorade (laughs) always sugar free like Uh. you need cough drops like like do you need anything Mm -hmm. like even like when i moved into my new place like Mm. he would he like was very observant about things that we needed like he was like oh thoughtful yeah he was very thoughtful Thoughtful. yeah (sighs) and so that's the thing is like right you brought up the question at the beginning like how much should the guy just like already know yeah versus like how much does he need to be trained Mm -hmm. i think that if you're a thoughtful person a lot of this just comes innate you know what I mean? Or like listen to our fucking podcast. Walking on the outside of the sidewalk, I think more than it being like a cute, romantic, like movie type thing. Yeah. It's like for my safety. Yeah. I think that I think that is like one of the key points here is a lot of these things should keep in mind the girl's safety, right? Like if you're walking on the outside of the sidewalk, yeah. I think that you're more likely to get hit by a girl. <laughs> <laughs> like I was thinking more <laughs> Like the fast cars can be scary. <laughs> yeah, that's the fast cars can be scary. Exactly. Or like so if you're wearing a skirt, by a car. Yeah. If yeah, you're wearing a skirt, you're gonna, ooh, a little yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that's what I was thinking about. But right. I guess <laughs> the likelihood of getting hit by a car for sure is higher on the outside Defin- of the sidewalk. Of course, of yeah. course. And then also, right, we live in a very urban city. Mm-hmm. If there is a homeless man, I want you to be nearest to them. I need you to switch sides with me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Or like pull me a little closer. Yeah. You oh. know? I, I think something, or I don't know, um, maybe maybe the Sigmas. We definitely brought up the Sigmas before, okay. but I re-saw it on TikTok. Okay. It goes like beta, alpha, sigma. Oh, okay. Like Sigmas are the... Highest? Yeah, highest. Okay. I don't remember. I don't know how to define it, but just Urban Dictionary it. Um, I don't think people like or guys realize like when you, when the guy sh- like can protect the woman, mm-hmm. you will you will get that in return in other mm-hmm. ways if that makes sense mm-hmm. like i think guys are always out here just like wifey material wifey material like well like how do i know your wifey material well when you show me you can be hubby material trust me wifey comes out like, trust me yeah right yeah and i don't know what what what's going on in the these universes? days uh-huh i mean maybe i'm just talking to myself i don't know what's going on here but i need to be patient and allow the guy to like prove himself that he can be hubby material because 
I mean, I know that I have that side of me. That's right. like super nurturing. Right. I need to really just stop like handing it out. Yeah. You know, you know? Yeah. To people that are like undeserving of it. But yeah, sometimes I think guys are like, oh, she's not the same very wife and material. Trust me. Like when you can show that you can be that protector. Right. Like it, it will naturally come out. Right. Okay. It'll naturally yeah. Come no. Out. And that's the thing here is like, we don't say all this stuff because like we're trying to be like dramatic and drama queens and stuff. Exactly. Like this is for your benefit in the, the prince. end. Yeah. You will get like, you give me the princess treatment. Like, trust me. Yeah. You are. come around. You, yeah. More than prince. Like, yeah. You, king. Like, like Jesus. Yeah. Like, w- not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> king. Just, king. King just treatment. Just the DJ moment. You weren't there. <laughs> he was praying. At football practice. <laughs> He was like, health is number one. <laughs> no, God. <laughs> That's so bad. But anyway. Anyway. Um, you know, I will say, like, I've accepted way less than this. Yeah. You know? I went on a tape where the guy didn't pay. I think just, like, naturally I feel uncomfortable. I don't know why I feel uncomfortable because, like... I'm pretty princessy, right? But maybe it's because on the first date, it's it's because it's like with a stranger, right? And it's, it's, I don't I don't feel uncomfortable because I feel indebted to them, right? It's more like my family. I know both my parents. Whenever they go out and have dinner with friends too, it's like I think it's just the Korean in me. It's not so much me feeling like mm. I owe them something. It's just the Korean in me, right? Right. So that is like I feel uncomfortable, but but yeah, if they had asked me, I would feel weird about it too. So yeah. I'm not giving you too much to work with. Yeah, that's true. Um, but that's, that's, that is pretty weird though. Okay, but question. Okay, so let's say you really like this guy, mm-hmm. but he doesn't have the training. How are you like training them slyly, right? Because I think that there is an art to training a boyfriend. Do you have an answer? Because I really don't have an answer. Okay, so I was, okay, so I've never really trained a boyfriend. I realized. Because you're a boyfriend treated me like a fucking princess and he didn't need training but also i think i hold my tongue for a lot of things at the beginning of a relationship because i don't want to be crazy Mm. you know what i mean i think i suppress a lot of like my natural instincts to be like hey can you get me water first like hey can you like set the table when we are sitting down and plates need to be handed out and the first plate should go to me and not you Mm -hmm. you know i think i suppress a lot of it because i feel like i'm going to be deemed as crazy or like too demanding or like her standards are too high yeah and so i think a lot of it has to be done slightly like so i was asking my roommates about it yeah and one of them went you know it depends on what the situation is Mm -hmm. if she feels like he doesn't know like genuinely doesn't know Mm -hmm. she'll just straight up ask him Mm -hmm. but if it's like something like oh like i feel like he just like maybe like has never had to do this before but i feel like he has it in him what she'll do is like she'll do it first so like let's say like she wants to be affirmed a little bit more in like her outfits or something like that like she'll be like oh like like where's your shirt from like it looks really good on you like stuff like Mm. that and so she started to notice that like because she like says things in like a certain way let's say he'll say things back you know how like couples kind of start yeah, talking yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and so yeah. like she kind of like actually that is funny because i guess yeah when you naturally talk you then identify like things like your partner has you know never experienced and an ex of mine had never bought his ex sex <laughs> flowers <laughs> right uh-huh, uh-huh. so yeah, I was straight up. I was straight up like, oh, I like flowers. Right. And got me flowers. Oh. So I was appreciative of it, but I don't know how to do it slightly because honestly, I don't want to tell him. I don't want to tell him. Oh. So maybe I just like cannot date a guy until I'm old. And so that he actually, actually knows everything. Oh. Yeah. Dude, I don't know. What a dilemma. What a dilemma. Because like, you know, you want flowers, but then you want like quality flowers. Or you want you want cute flowers. You don't want just like flowers that were like... Like, like seven like ninety nine from Ralph. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But those things, like how do you like tell the boy, f- like, I want the Fleur de Venus flowers. Oh God. Oh God. The ones that last three, a year. $300 flowers. Like, I want roses from there. Roses. Pink roses. Yes. Yeah. I, I do know now. Dude, I was so touched when my sister got this for me for my birthday. Yeah. It was a beautiful it was beautiful bouquet s bouquet yeah, yeah it was yeah. so beautiful it was beautiful that it was, was really at least beautiful. 80 dollars yeah even my boss got me flowers mm. and my dad got me flowers mm. it's out there I, it's out there yeah it is it and for sure is. all three of those were not 7.99 ralph's flowers yeah yeah no absolutely <laughs> so i think maybe like even making comments like oh yeah trader joe's has really nice quality flowers for really cheap i do like their flowers i, I, so like I, I feel like it, that is kind of a hard 
a hard step to take for me to like do at first mm. to think that the significant other is going to chameleon it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because I'm just naturally not good at those things. Right. Like words of affirmation type. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I like cheer myself on, but like in my head, I'm just like, right. go Julie. Like, I mean, I talk to myself a lot too. Right. But I guess it's it's funny because I, I did find myself fun, like buying flowers for my place mm. and his place. Mm. No occasion, just just because. Right. I'm not too sure if it caught on though. Oh, like every time his mom would visit, I would get like flowers to decorate the table for her. <sighs> I mean, we can go into a whole nother thing about I guy would send his parents flowers for their birthdays. Oh, my gosh. That's in good. a different country. That's great. That's expensive. But the, yeah, like it was really expensive. And the lesson learned is like, I won't be ever doing that again. <laughs> right. Yeah. So sorry to this next significant other. Right. I mean, I'll do it. When the when, king and queen relationship type of dynamic right, is formulated. Right, absolutely. Which means like this must, this needs to be on here. Right. <laughs> but before this is on here, like I will be doing that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Any more. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I was trained. Okay, so then like what is, what is the conclusion here? I think I said my conclusion. I'm not going to date a guy until I'm farking old. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, <laughs> on my end, I think I'm willing to do some training. And how to go about that? I think it's just a mixture. It's just like, depending on the situation, like yeah. I will tell you straight up, like, oh, can you- Will like, you? Okay, I think Okay, I think with certain things, now uh-huh. I will, because okay. like I'm being a princess, right? Okay. And so like, sidewalk, that's not the hugest deal, but yeah. I think I would be like, oh, I think I would feel safer if you like walked on the outside of the sidewalk. I don't want to do that, but I'm trying to like crack down why I don't want to do that. Like you should just do it. Why don't you know how to do that already? Okay, so-, so conclusion julie just needs her to go box <laughs> and like i'm willing to like dine in <laughs> you yeah. Know? yeah 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 okay noted yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. oh that's a great analogy oh, okay thank you so much yeah yeah uh, i don't know maybe i'm being a little too much no but to be honest like that's a lie i never thought that yeah <laughs> yeah i was like you're not being too much yeah okay that's a lie i don't want to i don't want to like be so old when i i don't want to be so old <laughs> But I also came across TikTok that said usually people who date to marry, uh-huh. which I think we all know I've always dated for marriage, yeah. tend to date more guys as in like official, official relationships. Right. Because then you're able to identify easier. Like mm, it seems like it's going to work out. Mm, right. It doesn't seem like this is going to uh, work okay, out okay, because you sense. you know more like what what matters and what. It does not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That totally Whereas if you're casually dating, like it's casual so it's like it doesn't really matter if you have it if you don't have it whatever right it tends to be a bit more like that yeah so it made me feel better about myself but um it's okay you're only on your third boyfriend yeah 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 that's my 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 boss thinks i'm gonna go through three to four more i don't know why he said that but he's just a funny dude so (laughs) (laughs) yeah but no i think maybe for me going forward i think like thoughtfulness is gonna be up there yeah. In terms of non-negotiables. Because then I think co- innately comes the, the princess treatment. Yeah. Like, I think that if you want princess treatment, if you don't want to do a lot of training, like, look for the thoughtfulness first. Yeah. Like, see if he cares for his friends and family. And then I would uh, hopefully... That's, like, a little triggering. Because that can be a little too much, too. Oh, Being too he's... thoughtful to your friends and family. <laughs> can, you, can you expand? Well, because if you're dating... Right. right right and at least for me like if you're dating for marriage like why why would being thoughtful to your friends and family like they should never over what's the word like, they should never be prioritized more than being thoughtful for you. this for like if, yeah me right okay i think i'm more so thinking like at the very beginning stages when he, when for you're sure. not yet a priority oh yeah you know you have to look at you're right. the examples that are already there you're right yeah felt a little defensive there (laughs) but um i mean i definitely think it's that thoughtfulness Mm -hmm. which is just crazy too because i think a lot of guys think they're thoughtful but i'm not saying like that's bad that you're not in your 20s because the thing is like you're trying to figure yourself out too Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and therefore i can understand why because like tyranny of choice like we've been there's been so many things thrown thrown at us like our generation i can understand why honestly the marriage like average has gone down and has been pushed. I can, I can, I think I can understand it now. Oh yeah. Because we need to take more time to understand and figure out ourselves first. Right. Therefore, you cannot be thoughtful to other people if you're not, you don't have yourself figured out. So I can understand that aspect a bit more. Mm. Um. Yeah, but I do think it, it definitely has to do with thoughtfulness and having that bandwidth to 
mm-hmm. show this other person care. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the meantime, I will be treating myself like a princess. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, me yeah. too. I'm not going to accept any more dates if they don't plan or yeah. if they don't pay. Yeah. I need to cut it off with him. Yeah. Have you not cut it off with him? I haven't. Well, thank you guys so I'm much so hot. for joining us. I'm quite sweaty as well. <laughs> we're glistening yeah well you guys can give us a follow on tiktok and instagram at perkleby.podcast we post little video clips for you guys there we've been doing a lot of actually tiktok nows it's like be real um on our perkleby tiktok and so be sure to keep up with us there and then twitter is perkleby podcast i'm on instagram at h-a-n-a-k-a-t-t-t and i am on instagram too at b-e-j-u-l-i-f-i-e-d okay one two three three. (laughs) 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 (laughs)